Right folks, good morning and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today it's Sunday the 10th of April 2022 and I'm just on my way to Squires Biker Cafe just off the B1222 uh, on the outskirts of Leeds um, as today it's their uh, annual Easter run and they're raising funds basically for the local air ambulance which is always an excellent cause and, um, and then we're going to go from there hopefully as a large group of bikers out towards uh, a venue which I've never heard of before to be fair called NY500 which is uh, in Pickering I gather um, assuming uh, everything I've read is correct so that's where I'm heading I'm only a couple of miles if that from Squires which is just as well because I'm running a little bit late the uh, the event starts at 11 and it's currently eight minutes to so I am pushing it very very fine and uh, I brought myself an Easter egg. I'm not sure what they're doing with that. Probably donating it maybe to uh, hospitals or something like that. I've no idea. I'll check when I get there. But uh, yeah, but they ask for a £5 contribution from any participant in the event uh, with all the funds going to the uh, Yorkshire Air Ambulance. So I certainly don't begrudge that. So as you can see, back on the Husky, same one I came out on the other day when I went up towards Malham. It certainly promises to be a good day. I would imagine there'll be uh, a few hundred bikers taking part in this and it is uh, learner friendly it said, so they won't be going on motorways or anything like that, they'll be just taking nice scenic routes at a nice steady pace I just hope I get there in time Alright, here we are As you can see, it's extremely busy Straight up, yep. Yep. Seems very well organised. Thank you. Do I pay me money down here? No, the registration's in the poppy caravan outside the front of the cab. No worries, okay. Excellent turnout bikers. <laughs> so where's the caravan then? Just down there somewhere. Right outside the front of the cab. Nice one. Ta. But yeah, plenty of marshals. Looks very well organised. Am I too late to pay you? Yeah? yeah. I am too late. Yeah, yeah. No, no, not too late. No. One. Just one yet. Uh, I would imagine they'll be releasing them in stages. But that is a lot of bikers. And that's just one line of them. So I'll just get this first wave of bikers going and I'll make my way up to my bike.
going to take about half an hour to get all these bikes out. Trudge back to the bike. Could be half an hour, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, there's my bike right at the back. Yeah, it's a very good system how they've got everybody leaving in staggered exits and they're filtering them all through here. Cars must have been waiting there a long time. Down there.
Might as well save some fuel. Might as well. <laughs> it's a bit cheaper, is it? Could be a while, yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> Ta.
so we finally arrived. What time is it? Two, uh, four minutes to two. So how good is that? There's even uh, a chop coming around with little bits of wood for you to put your side stand on. Right folks, finally got my helmet off. That was good. My hair breathed for a while. So I've got the bike parked up and uh, just give you a quick spin around here. Loads and loads of parking. No issues there. And I am just parked up somewhere you can probably see my bike. Yeah, I can just see it there over my shoulder. So I'm going to have a little wander around, try and get a bike to eat. Uh, there's some music going on behind me, so I'm going to go see what all that's about and uh, just see what's going on. I'm sure there'll be loads of stalls and exhibitors and stuff like that. So it's looking good so far. Can't fault the weather, can't fault any of the organisation. It's been cracking. Uh, we only got lost once on the way over, but that was my fault. And uh, I just followed a few people around around about because we got a bit confused as to where we should have been going. But if we'd have followed the instructions, we wouldn't have got stuck. Right, I'll uh, catch up with you in a moment. Let's just go and have a look and see who's here. All right. All right, so let's have a quick walk down the bikes. Absolutely stacks of them, row after row. It's like a GTR 1400 there, and if that's anybody's I know.
do be in there. Let's see if I can get in there shortly and get some food. Let's have a look in here. Examples in here. An old lamb bread, 1963. That's very fancy. So all sorts in here. So look at these cars. Right folks, I'm just heading back to the bike now, you can see it behind me there, I think it's been an excellent day, uh, I certainly couldn't fault it and I'm definitely glad I came. Um, as I said earlier, there must have been at least 2,000 plus people attended here on bikes, so uh, hopefully the Yorkshire Air Ambulance have raised many thousands of pounds today from uh, the contribution that most cyclists have made and also from just uh, general things that they've sold here because they've had two or three stalls here as well selling bits and bats. Um, so uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Um, it's not over yet, I'm just going to get kitted up, get back on the bike and then I haven't got a sat-nav on this bike so I'm not quite sure of the uh, direct route to get back home but I've got a rough idea. So uh, once I get on the dual carriageway, the A64, I know where I'm going from there. So I'll get kitted up, like I say, and I'll catch up with you in a moment. Right, off we go. Stand up. I'm just going to make my way back towards the A64 and then get off back home. So yeah, it's been a good day. I'm glad I came for that. Right then folks, I'm going to start making my way home now, probably took me about an hour, maybe an hour and a half depending on the traffic to get home. Uh, from my point of view, I thought that was a fantastic day, it seemed to be really well organised right from the outset, attending at Squires with the marshals there, directing me up to the relevant car park, everybody sitting there patiently waiting and the exit of the first batch of bikers, again all seemed very controlled, nobody doing anything stupid. Uh, and I was speaking to some paramedics at the site and they said not been called out to any jobs or anything like that in regards to the, the you know the actual fundraising so that puts us all all those bikers obviously in a very positive light to people that might otherwise be a little bit hostile towards motorcyclists um, and you know that could be nothing but a good thing so uh, thank you very much for watching the video I hope you've enjoyed it and again something a little bit different to what I would normally do admittedly but I do like to attend these events as and when I can and as and when they come up within a reasonable travelling distance of where I live uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed it 
Um, I'm pleased that I've done my little bit, although only a small part, but I've contributed in a very small way towards hopefully giving some children at schools and hospitals a little bit of a smile on the face, the usual bits and bats, you know, and where they might not necessarily have family that might visit them as frequently as they can because of travelling distances. At least they'll have a little bit of a chocolate Easter egg or something like that to uh, munch on this coming Easter. Uh, and obviously besides that there's obviously the fundraising aspect for the Yorkshire Air Ambulance which is a given isn't it? it goes without saying we all know what it does what wonderful work it does so um, yeah thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed it if you have please consider subscribing hit the notification bell whatever you choose to do even if you don't want to subscribe please I would appreciate it leave a comment down below and just let me know what you think of the video and everything else uh, again, thank you very much indeed. Take care and stay safe and I'll see you all in the next video. Ta-da for now.